Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. What do you do with a bad bourbon? What do you do when you find a bourbon? You accidentally purchase a bourbon, get it home, you're excited. Yes, new bourbon. Crack it open, taste it, and go, oh God, what have I done? What have I done to myself? What do you do with it? Like, seriously, what do you do? I mean, you have options. You can try it on ice. You can mix it with some Coke. You can make it into cocktails. You could give it away like I would do to my dad. Or you can be like me and go, hey, Patreon, I tasted this really awful bourbon. Do you guys want to try it? And they, and you know, and. 10 of them will be like, yeah, I'll try an awful bourbon. And so I chop it up and just get rid of it that way. So you have options, okay? You have options. But if you don't have any of those options, what do you do? What do you do with a god awful bourbon? So I have a few ideas that I want to share with you on what I would do with a bourbon that you don't love. Okay, so option one. Now, this is a small bottle because um, I only had a little bit left and I like to transfer things into smaller bottles when they get low. This is Rattlesnake Rosies. This is the Bacon Maple Rattlesnake Rosies. What's that stuff, like a liqueur? I don't, even, I don't even know. But just a little bit of this. Can drastically change a bourbon. And I, I kind of like to put this in stuff that I don't even hate. Because it's sometimes it's fun just to screw around with flavor combos and see what happens. So that's option one. We're going to taste through all these in a minute. So that's option one. Option two. You could honey finish as some honey finish MDPs um, like to do. They, they get a, a wet barrel of honey like this, and they take their wet barrel of honey and put the whiskey into it, and boop, and finish the whiskey with the honey barrel, and it's totally legit. It's totally a legit way to finish finish stuff. You just you know use a bear a wet barrel and pour in the whiskey. And you know, you give, you know, it happens. It happens and, it, and it, it, you get flavor, you get flavor. Now, another thing that I like to do is take a little bit of sea salt and, and give a little sea salt to that whiskey. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at what that does in a whiskey. Let that dissolve a little bit. Now, last option is take a, a bourbon that's cheap. I got honey all over my hands from that honey barrel. Man, I hate that. Dang, handling honey barrels and transferring them from one barrel to the next. That really sucks, Jesus Christ. That's too much work. Anyway, so if you have a inexpensive, finished bourbon that has pretty strong flavors. Now I just reviewed this and you guys will see that in a, in a day or two, I think. You can take and pour a little bit of that into your whiskey just to flavor it, just to give it a little wet barrel treatment. Just give it a little wet, a little wet barrel swirly, if you will. So let's go back here to this first one with the Rattlesnake Rosies. Now, the bourbon I'm using is not great. It is not great. I reviewed it. I'm not going to mention which one it is in this video, but I reviewed it. Not good. Not good. So, I mean, not heinous. It's no dickle, but not good. So, oh, was it ever not good? Was this the best whiskey ever? Oh, the maple syrup and the, the bacon maple syrup, Rattlesnake Rosies, just that little splash that I put in there 
just let's see. Oh, I drew. Ooh. Oh, that plays really well. Holy crap. That hint of nuttiness and funk from the original whiskey. Oh, man. I would drink the shit out of that. Like, ooh, that's, da that's actually really dangerous right there. Holy bajoli. Wow, that's dangerous. That's dangerously good. All right, so now this one is the our honey finished bourbon. You know, I gave it a swirl job in a barrel. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hello, honey. I'm at home. Oh, I made it better. Ooh, I think it needs it needs stirred a little more because it was definitely better. The honey was honey finish was there, but not strongly enough to deaden the negative notes previously. Now I will say when I had COVID last week, I was drinking a lot of whiskey with honey in it, and. It's definitely better, not enough to fix the problem. H putting some honey in already good whiskey, decent whiskey, drinker whiskey, phenomenal, phenomenal. That honey doesn't make up for the problems in that original whiskey. Now let's see what the sea salt did for the original whiskey. Oh, it actually smells better. Wow, that actually helped that a lot. It canceled out the funk. Oh yeah, totally canceled out the funk. It is obviously salty, it's briny. But man, that totally, yeah, now my salt's fully dissolved, almost fully dissolved. It really canceled out the funkiness. And that's what I find <clears throat> when I add sea salt to whiskey is it will kind of cancel out some of those negative notes. And especially if it's a funky whiskey, I find that sea salt kind of cancels that out. And, and I'm left with just a syrupy sweetness, vanilla, oak, and, and obviously it's, it's salty. So last one up, this is the Oak and Eden Coffee Steeped bourbon that I added to my gross bourbon. It smells pretty good. Let's try. The funkiness still comes through, but it's also counterbalanced by that chocolatey, um, chocolate covered coffee bean and that little bit of nuttiness. That's totally, totally drinkable now. Okay, so the best, most effective of the four was the Rattlesnake Rosies. That, and you only need a tiny splash. It's so strong and so present that it will cover up pretty much anything. And if you don't like maple syrup and bacon, I honestly don't know if we can be friends. So it kind of fixes whatever bad bourbon you might have just get you a bottle of rattlesnake rosies maple bacon shove it on a shelf somewhere you get a bad bourbon you can put a few literally a few drops in a pour and it fixes the bourbon and you won't have wasted your money oh definitely 100 percent. oh yeah so sweet and creamy vanilla maple syrup bacon what who could ask for anything more Bourbon. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.